Running is a great form of exercise, but unfortunately, most runners will experience some mild pains and aches uh, throughout their training. And runner's knee is probably the most uh, common uh, mild injury that uh, people will experience. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to identify the runner's knee, and we'll share some tips uh, on how to treat it and uh, some exercises that will help you get rid of it. So first of all, a natural question how to be sure that the discomfort you are experiencing in your knee while running is actually a runner's knee. Uh, so what's a runner's knee? It's an overload injury. So it's usually uh, because you are either uh, increased the intensity or duration of your uh, runs too fast or your muscles are not strong enough uh, for your running at the moment. But uh, in general, it's not a sharp pain. It's not a uh, it's not a severe pain, it's most of the times a vague uh, kind of in, indistinct pain in the front part of your knee, uh, just around your kneecap. Uh, and you experience it while running, but also you experience it while sitting for a longer time, possibly while climbing up and down the stairs. If you are experiencing something that is very different from this description, like a sharp pain, uh, if you hear some clicking uh, noises, uh, if the knee is locking uh, during movement, then it's a good idea to actually have it uh, looked at by a health professional. So as we just mentioned, a runner's knee is an overuse injury. And that means that it usually appears when you try to run too fast or too far without decent progression. The good thing is that you shouldn't stop when you experience uh, a runner's knee. You can go on exercising, but you should stick to some simple rules of thumb. Uh, the most important thing is that uh, your pain should, should not be higher than 2 to 3 out of 10 when you're running. Uh, and if it's not increasing when you're running, and if it's not getting worse after you run, you can keep the same uh, amount of exercise and the same amount of running. But if your pain is getting worse, you should just decrease it slightly. And uh, when it's stable, it's fine. You should continue with your running, just add rehabilitation exercises and you'll be fine. So you usually experience the runner's knee either because your running training is too intense uh, or it progressed too quickly or because your muscles are too weak and they are really not ready for the amount of running you're doing. So as part of a rehabilitation for your runner's knee, usually uh, runners have to do some exercises uh, for the main muscle groups that support the knee. And these muscle groups are your quad muscles, your hip muscles, and your calves. Uh, these three uh, groups of muscles are the ones that stabilize and strengthen the knee. So I will show you some basic exercises, free exercises that you can include uh, you should do these exercises three to four times a week and uh, don't worry so much about the amount of uh, uh, repetitions and sets. Uh, just do them with a good form and until you feel some kind of fatigue. Uh, the most important thing is to actually do them and do them consistently. So the first exercise uh, is a chair sit. And uh, I don't have a wall behind me, but normally uh, while you do this exercise at home, you should uh, sit uh, like in a uh, chair, uh, lean back and press your back against the wall while your knees are bent at exactly 90 degrees and your shins are vertical to the ground. So the position looks something like this. You go down, you just uh, support your back against the wall and you maintain the static position uh, at first for maybe 30 seconds and as you get stronger, try to uh, hold this position for at least a minute. This will feel really hard at the beginning and your quads will really be burning, uh, but they will get stronger and they will support your knee better. The second exercise uh, is for your glutes uh, and your uh, hip muscles that are really important in stabilizing the knee. And the exercise is called the uh, single leg deadlift or you can also call it a superman uh, exercise because it looks something like this. You uh, stay on this leg and you go into this flying superman position just like this. So you try to keep your uh, weight stable on one leg and 
extend like this. Your back should be straight. Uh, there shouldn't be any routing through the back and the movement should come from the hip joint. And the third exercise is for your calf muscles. And calf muscles are really important for your knee joint because it's the first muscle group that takes the load when you're striking the ground while running. So they should really be strong and uh, they should protect your knee. And the most basic exercise for your calves is called the calf raise. So just standing against the wall, you should try to lift your heel as high as possible on one leg uh, and do many repetitions uh, to really fatigue these muscles. So uh, a gold standard is uh, 30 repetitions uh, per single leg, but it's okay to start with less. So if you are able to do 10 or 15 repetitions, start with these repetitions and try to increase uh, the, the reps as, as you get stronger. There are a few other tips uh, to help with your runner's knee. And uh, the first one, and it's a really important and helpful one, is to take a look at your running cadence. And a lot of running watches these days are actually showing your running cadence uh, or the amount of steps uh, per minute that you take while running. And uh, the ideal standard or the gold standard is 180 steps per minute or 90 steps with each leg. And uh, most beginner runners are actually taking far fewer steps. So around 150 and 160. That means that the step uh, length is too big and the steps basically are too heavy. And that might be one of the causes uh, of your runner's knee. So you should try to gently increase the cadence. That means uh, add 10 to 20 steps per minute uh, to your running cadence. Don't immediately try to run at 180 steps per minute. That might be too hard but just slightly increase your running cadence, lighten up your step, and that will help you with your runner's knee. Another thing to take a look at is your running shoes. If your heel is very high, uh, or in running shoe terminology, if your heel drop is very high, more than 20 millimeters, for example, uh, these shoes actually add some extra load on your knee. So if you're having your runner's knee and if you have some pain in your knee, uh, it might be a good idea to change your shoes and go for a slightly lower heel drop and that will take this tension away from your knee and uh, help your knee recover. So maybe go uh, to your running shoe store and uh, try to look at different shoe brands and uh, different uh, heel heights and that might really be helpful with your runner's knee. So to recap, don't get scared if you have your runner's knee. Uh, it's an annoying injury, but it's not a serious one. Usually, if you are adjusting your training load and if you are training just a, a tad bit less and uh, with less intensity, and if you are doing the proper exercises for your runner's knee, it will get better. And uh, also take a look at your running cadence and your running shoes. All these things will really help you and uh, will treat your runner's knee.